sa paggunita ng ikalimang daang taong anibersaryo ng Kristyanismo sa Pilipinas, ang pambansang dambana ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay naitalaga bilang isa sa mga Jubilee Churches, Simbang Hubileo, kung saan may Porta Santa o Jubilee Door. Sa mga makikibahagi ay ipagkakaloob ang plenary indulgence na ikinawad ni Papa Francisco. Ito ay natatanging biyaya ng pagpapatawad sa kaparusahan mula sa mga kasalanan. Kalapit nito ay ang pagsasagawa ng mga sumusunod. Ang Pangumpisal Ang pagtanggap ng banal na Eucharistia At ang pagdarasal para sa Santo Papa Ipanalamin din ang katapatan ng mga Pilipino bilang mananampalataya, pagdami ng may bukason sa pagpapari, hermano at madre, pagtataguyod ng pamilya. Magtapos sa ama namin, sumasampalataya at pagtawag kay Inay Maria. Sa pagpasok natin ng Porta Santa, Alalahanin at isapuso din natin ang hamon na maging masigasig na tagapagpalaganap ng Ebanghelyo. Ibahagi natin ang piyaya ng pananampalatayang ating natanggap bilang mga misunero, misunera ng nakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Please all kneel for the Novena to St. Gerard Magella. Let us pray. It was your plan, O God, to attract St. Gerard even from his tender years and make him like Jesus on the cross. May we follow the example of his life and grow in likeness to your Son. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for Mothers O good and gracious Saint Gerard, invoked through the world as the patron of mothers and children, you know so well the joys and sorrows, the tears and longings of a mother's heart. Look down with tenderness, we beseech you upon all mothers. Wipe away their tears and cheer them with radiant hope. Shield their virtue from the corrupt influence of a pagan world. Keep them true to the example of Mary, the model of mothers. Obtain for them the graces of their noble state in life, that they bringing up their children in the fear and love of God. They may deserve to have those same children for their everlasting joy and crown. Amen. Prayer against the forces of evil. O great wonder worker of our day, Saint Gerard, powerful protector of the mother and her unborn child, beg God we beseech you to crush the mounting forces of anti-life and to enlighten those who walk in this deadly way that they may see the enormity of their sin and return to the generous observance of the divine law. Amen. Prayer for sick children. Good Saint Gerard, like our divine Savior, you showed children such loving tenderness and delivered so many from various diseases and even from death. Graciously look down upon the distressed parents who implore you to restore their children's health, promising to bring them up a good Christian and to safeguard them by constant vigilance from the evils of sin. We implore this favor, O compassionate brother, through that love which, which Jesus and Mary surrounded your early childhood. Amen. Petitions to St. Gerard. St. Gerard, whose holiness 
goodness, and marvelous power have implanted abundant confidence in our hearts. To you we pray. Our, Ho ho our uh, holy protector, pray for us that we may enjoy the liberty of the children of God through the rejection of sin and all that leads to sin. Our holy protector, pray for us that we may overcome the evil forces which causes abortion and child abuse. Our holy protector, pray for us that we may protect the sanctity of marriage, the dignity of motherhood, and the integrity of the family. Our holy protector, pray for us that we may remain faithful to our Christian duties, especially our daily prayers, the Holy Eucharist, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and the service to God and our neighbor. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that we may forgive, forget, and reward all evil done to us, especially injustices, calumny, and ill treatment by others. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that we may accept the trials of life, sickness, affliction, failures, and reversal of fortune with Christian resignation. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that for the love of God, we may faithfully discharge all the duties of our state of life. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that we may practice the virtues so dear to you, humility, charity, mortification, obedience, and complete resignation to the will of God. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that your exemplary zeal may urge us on to labor courageously for the salvation of others. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that we may die in the grace of friendship of God and assisted by Jesus and Mary. Our Holy Protector, pray for us that like you, others may be moved to dedicate their lives to Jesus in the religious life. Our Holy Protector, pray for us for the intentions of each one of us. Our Holy Protector, pray for us. Let us pray. Saint Gerard, whose heart went out to the unfortunate, who relieved so many poor, healed so many sick, comforted so many afflicted, we are worried and troubled as we kneel at your feet. In vain do we seek this world's help and consolation. Graciously pray for us, Saint Gerard, that being freed from these trials or strengthened to bear them for the love of God, we may praise and thank God and serve Him with greater love and favor. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, we come together to offer our prayers with the great prayer and sacrifice of Jesus. Let us renew our sorrow for any lack in our response to the love of God. 
you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded toward Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine, as the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream. A stairway rested on the ground with its top reaching to the heavens, and God's messengers were going up and down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him and saying, I, the Lord and the God of your forefather, Abraham and the God of Isaac, the land on which you are lying, I will give to you and your descendants. This shall be as plentiful as the dust of the earth, and through them you shall spread out east and west, north and south. In you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you, I will protect you wherever you go and bring you back to this land. I will never leave you until I have done what I promised you. When Jacob woke from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. In solemn wonder, he cried out, how awesome is this shrine! This is nothing else but an abode of God, and that is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone, and poured oil on top of it. He called the site Bethel, whereas the former name of the town had been loose. Jacob then made this vow, If God remains with me to protect me on this journey I am making, and I give, and to give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear, and I come back safe to my father's house, the Lord shall be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode the word of the Lord thanks be to God in you my God I place my trust in you my God I place my trust you who dwell in the shelter of the Most High who abide in the shadow of the Almighty say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God, in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to you, 
to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward. He knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come. Lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak. I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. The news of this spread throughout all that land. The good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. O oh, mga kapatid, mahalaga yung mga moments at pangyayari na doon lalong nararanasan natin ang, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Ni Jesus na nagsabi, ako'y kasama ninyo sa lahat ng araw. Dito sa unang pagbasa, si Jacob, tumatakas si Jacob sa problema ni, ni Esau. At nadaon siya sa disyerto, natulog siya, inilagay niyang isang bato bilang unan at natulog sa kanyang panaginip Nararanasan niya ang presensya ng mahal na Diyos at ang sabi ng Diyos na sa kanyang linya, yung linya ni Jacob ay darating hanggang yon kay Jose, San Jose, ama-amahan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, ang Diyos na nakapiling natin. Doon sa linya ni Jose, di ba yun? Yan ang mensahe doon ng Diyos kay Jacob. Napakahalaga sa atin, di ba, ang mga lugar at pagkakataon na doon lalong naranasan natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Sa pamamagitan ng iba, madalas yun. Yung, yung mag-asawa, hindi nila malalimutan ang, ang lugar na yon na doon nagkita sila.
Oh, dito sa gospel, hindi malalimutan ng official na yon, yung lugar na yon sa kanyang bahay na doon binuhay ang kanyang anak na maliit. At doon sa kalsada man, ang babaeng humipon, him, humipo sa layayan, alayan ng damit ni Kristo. At pinagaling siya sa isang karamdaman niya. O mga kapatid, isipin natin na laging kasama natin si Jesus at kahit saan, at kahit kailan, nandun pa rin siya. O, oh, ipanalangin natin yung mga taong lalong naghihirap ngayon dahil sa pandemic. Para maranasan din nila ang presensya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Oh. Please all stand. Oh. Oh. God never intended us to die. He created us for life. But we chose death. Christ our Redeemer restores us to life. And we come to our Father praying through Jesus. And we say, Father of life, hear us. Father of life, hear us. That the church may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by its care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of life, life hear, hear us. us that doctors and nurses and all those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of life, life hear, hear us. us. For all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Father, Father of life, of life hear, hear us. For all the frontliners, may God embrace and protect them as they continue their loving service. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Father, Father of life, life hear, hear us. For those who offered Masses to be celebrated in the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help, may God answer their petitions and hear the thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, oh, Father of, life, of life, hear us. us. God our Father, keep on healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine on us by the power of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Uh, may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you with all the angels uh, as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full of your glory hosanna, hosanna in, in the highest, highest. blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord, lord. hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you. The, the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. <laughs> uh, therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, by giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Wherever we are, let us give one another a sign of peace. Peace with you, Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Oh, here is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy all those invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Rubiz, pray for us. San Pedro Panunzol, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. blessing for expectant mothers and for children. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of life. We lift up to you all expectant mothers and children present here today. Through the intercession of Saint Gerard, touched by his virtues, we pray for healthy babies, for loving and responsible parents, as they all journey together in this our temporary home called Earth. We also include in our prayers all devotees of St. Gerard and the members of his league. May everyone val value family life one of God's greatest gifts brought about by love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.